Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day. My name is Dr. Muhammad Azrim bin Ahmad and I'm from Center for Medical Sciences. In this video, I will teach all of you chapter 1 which is limit and continuity. For your information, there are five topics all together in this chapter. The first one is limit of a function followed by finding limit using numerical approach finding limit using graphical approach finding limit using analytical approach and last but not least continuity by the end of this chapter you as a student should be able to describe the concept of limits to explain one-sided limit and two-sided limit to find num limit numerically analytically and graphically to compute the limit at infinity to explain the continuity test to determine continuity at a given point by referring to continuity test. Before we try to go into details on solving problems mathematically involving limit, you might want to ask yourself what limit is. Basically, in mathematical perspective, limit is very important and essential for calculus. The reason being, we can use the concept of limit to explain or to express the concept of infinite small and infinite large quantities in mathematical terms. As mentioned earlier, since limit is very essential to calculus, the concept of limit will be used in solving or in explaining things related to differentiation and integration. Based on the screen, all you need is to develop an intuitive understanding and you will see how simple these concepts, which is limits, are. The concept of limit will happen to a function when variable x approach a certain value. Alright, so basically, even though you will see later that you will be able to understand the concept of limit, but we are not interested in determining the value of function of f of x when x is equal to a. Instead, we would like to understand the behavior of the function as x approaches the value of a. Now, when you are going to see this notation of limit, basically there are quite a number of ways to pronounce the notation of limit as what we have suggested in the screen, the function of f of x approaches L as x approaches C. And the other way to pronounce the notation of limit is as simple as the limit of a function of f of x as x approaches C is L. Now it's up to you to use which way to pronounce the notation of limit. This is a very nice analogy to explain what limit is by using the scenario that involves circle and a polygon. Basically, the limit of n con as n goes infinity is a circle by using this expression of limit of n con as x approaches infinity is circle. When we discuss about limit, there will be two possible situations. Either the limit exists or the limit does not exist. In order for the limit to exist, we have to make sure it satisfies this expression. The limit is exists if the limit of a function f of x when x approaches from the left and limit of a function of f of x as x approaches c from the right is equal to the same limit. If you are able to show that they share the same value l, then it is safe to assume 
that the function, the limit of a function of f of x as x approaches c is equal to l. If this does not happen or if you are able to show that this is not true such as limit of a function of f of x as x approaches c from the left is not equal to limit of a function of f of x as x approaches c from the right then limit does not exist I hope you are able to cope with this expression in order to show whether the limit of a function of f of x as x approaches c is exist or does not exist. We will go details later on how to prove or show that the limit either exists or does not exist. Alright. Let's take a look at this illustration that I have sketched earlier. Okay, the brown line represent the, the graph of a function of f of x. And then we have this value of x at x is equal to c. The limit of a function of f of x as x approaches c from the left. So, you have to put your attention at the red line, red arrow, and the red words. Because that is the information for limit of a function of f of x as x approaches c from the left. So, this is the situation you are trying to figure out whether the function... The limit of a function as x approaches c does exist or not. So basically, this is the, the situation when x approaches c from the left. And the purple line or arrow or words represent situation for limit of a function of x, f of x, as x approaches c from the right. Alright, it is moving from the right, your right, my right. Alright, so I hope you are able to understand this illustration because we will use it in order to understand the problems better later in our video.